Hello fellow wheel sykes. I thought I might show you what I have to show you right here that I made of my wheel. Now first of all I need to tell you that my layout since I installed it about half a year ago that I went put put the thing on like in August or July, I don't remember. But it's beginning to really shrivel up and I'm probably gonna have to do something else to it. But not my main point. The reason I'm making this video is because you probably want to know how to make your own. And if you're thinking it takes a lot of time, it doesn't take as much as you think it does. In fact, this made uh, this uh, took me about, I don't know, I'd say just under a week to make. I, I only took about an hour a day to work on this, but this is a really tedious project, and I'm talking the wheel itself, not the $10,000 wedge, because that was of my artistic ability to make that. So, basically what I have here... I don't know if you can see it, but there is a Lazy Susan down here. It's 12 inches. In fact, if you want to make your own, it doesn't matter what size it is. And on top of that is a wood tabletop that you can find at just about any hardware store. Um, now what I use to make these, sorry about how crooked it is, that's just the best I could get. I mean, if you see this wheel from afar, it actually looks quite like a masterpiece, but if you look at it up close, it's really nothing to it. In fact, I didn't really put enough effort into it, if you ask me. But, these are mortar nails, not the nails you can find just about anywhere. These are special special concrete nails. They hold in really tight and they have just the thickness to support itself. Now, on top of that, I just printed this layout. Actually, I had my dad print it out. He works where there's a huge printer and he laminated the thing for me. So that's the only thing I didn't do by myself. Now, the flipper, in case you're wondering, this thing goes on a dumbbell. I highly recommend you don't do this, but let me just uh, take this out from under here. This is a piece of foam board. And right here, I also don't, don't recommend doing this, but See how floppy this thing is? I mean, it came off of a plastic plate, and I just just wired a rubber band through there. So it's basically all there is to that. And if you want to make your own wedge like this one. I did it the hard way. In fact, what it's made out of is right here. It's a cardboard box. So I did a cutaway of that. And I just let paint pen and sharpie do the rest of it. In fact, this is just paper taped on to the cardboard itself, which I used here. In fact, this is all Sharpie right here. Sharpie, paper, and cardboard. So that's really all it is. That is not the fancy way to do it. But it is one way. So that's how I did mine. And I don't know if you remember looking at my Fusion 
or Yutzwagon404 channel. But I had a wheel that was just the lazy Susan down here itself. And the knitting loom. That nearly proved to be disastrous. Because I had to make everything, and I put a lot more work into that thing than I did this, let me tell you that. And it was a lot crappier because... Well, let me just show you. First of all, it wasn't this good. Let me spin this thing, show you how good it is. All has to do with the weight, folks. If it's a really light wheel, it's not going to work unless it's on something very lubricated or something like that. If it's heavy, it will spin very long, very smooth. You know what I mean. So, that's just about it right there. Just thought maybe for those looking to make a wheel yourself, this is your New Year's resolution.